Hey everyone, welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to go ahead and we are going to get this wing sheeted. Uh, it's going to be I, how I wanted to do it and how they want it done it used to be two different things. Um, and because with all the with all the background checking that I've I've done on using silk span and uh, polyacrylic, Minwax polyacrylic, um, it will work just fine over anything where you're putting the silk span on top of sheeted balsa. Anywhere there's a there's a uh, um, it, it's where it's free standing or free hanging, like it's how it's going to be on the turtle deck and on the on the wings. Um, you end up having to take some poly span. I've got some coverall. It'd be the same thing where you'd have to glue that in on top of it, and it's just going to make a mess out of trying to do it. So I'm just going to go ahead and we'll do it all still in silk span, uh, but I'll just be using nitrate dope. And I'll do it just like I did the uh, uh, the Havilland DH71 um, because it worked out very well. So I so I I, I know everything will be fine. It just the way you don't really want to have to do it sometimes you just have to go ahead and do it so anyway on the plane let's just say on the wing on the top I'm just gonna bring you in on this camera really quick here and then I'll get the uh, get the GoPro set up when I'm working on it uh, on the top the sheeting is gonna come and it's gonna end right here right on the right on the uh, the spar which is good but on the bottom because I had to move it farther back, it's just barely going to touch it. So what I'm doing is I found some good same size thickness. I think it's three thirty seconds balsa in my uh, in my stash, um, and it's a, it's a nice harder balsa because um, this this is a nice excuse me a nice hard balsa. But I, I this is the hardest that I've got is this stuff here. It's it's four inches wide, forty inches long. But I wanted to have the harder balsa anyway, down where I've got to cut out for the retracts. So this will be, let's pretty much just be ripped down to whatever length it needs to be. Uh, and then from there, we're just going to go ahead uh, with, the, uh, with the openings for the retracts. And I'm probably going to sheet the whole bottom. I may still sheet the whole top, but the issue is still going to be with that turtle deck. That was my biggest concern with the silk span. So, um, I may shoot sheet the whole wing regardless, but this whole bottom section will be sheeted. It'll be sheeted all the way across the bottom, um, and I can still leave this little bay open up on the top. It, it's not that it's going to mount to anything. It's just that down here, where I'm going to be mounting the servo in the wing, I prefer to have the balsa, and then I'll make a little uh, cover hatch for it to get into it. So, so let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in. And I'm gonna I'm gonna sheet, and you'll see it on the GoPro. I'm gonna sheet the the top side on the back part here, and then I'll make my marks where I'm gonna have to eventually cut this out because when you're cutting the ailerons out, and it's very it's very strange the way the plans are, um, is that one side of the plans shows you two different uh, two different drawings. Sorry, on the wingtip rib. There we go. Um, that they're showing this is up even on the side where, where this part here where the wingtip gets glued on they show it even until you get to right here where the hinges then they show it offset um, on one side and on the other side they don't show it offset at all so it, it's it's quite strange but anyway so I'll, I'll work you through on this I'll let you know what I'm going to do with that one I pretty much already got it figured out um, but I'll get the top done first and then we're going to go ahead we'll flip it upside down we'll get the bottom ripped glued on um, and then I'm, when we flip it back over again I've got to come in here and put in blocks of wood for the uh, um, for the little pins that are going to be the alignment pins for the wing on the leading edge so I'm going to have to have something back in here uh, but yeah pretty much that's where we're at so let me uh, get the other camera set up and let's get to work
All right, I don't know how much of that you caught. I at least had one camera going. All right, um, what I think I'm going to have to do is I've got the trailing edge already taken care of, and that's that's the done deal. Um, if I'm going to sheet the bottom, what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to split split the glue surface on the lower spar. I mean, it's it's the the wise thing to do. Um, yeah, so that's how I think we're going to go ahead and do this. Um, and and hopefully, hopefully all, all will go nicely. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do it that way because I think the problem, the problem should be substantially less. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm not, not guaranteed. I'm, I'm hoping that a four foot, my four foot sections will span the whole thing. It looks like it can. Just barely. So anyway, we'll bring it back. Alright everyone, welcome back to the shop. It's been quite a busy day for me. Um, I was trying to, I was doing little video clips back and forth mostly with the GoPro. Um, but unfortunately I had I had changed I had changed direction a couple times on what I was doing so um, it, the videos was going to be really hodgepodge it was going to be so broken up and disconnected um, that I decided to let let's just I'll bring you back in and show you where I'm at in the wing right now now the wing itself is probably about 90 percent done um, I've got to put the wing tips on and then I've got to cut the ailerons out I've got everything marked on where I need to cut the ailerons out, and I'm gonna. If I don't do that tonight, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. So, so I will be back tomorrow, and you will see it. Um, but anyway, what they did in the plans, the plans had where this wing tip is gonna glue right onto this to, to the to the wing tip rib, the lash rib, and be glued in like this. Now, what they did, let me see if I can rotate it nicely. It's probably gonna be too far away. But what they did is. You know this this is very nice the way everything lines up but the problem is is this rib the end rib is going to stay in here because this is part of the end of the aileron so this has to be freestanding from here now what they did was i earlier on i let you know on the plans they show this being glued directly to this which is going to be kind of hard to make an aileron with this glued to this on the other side, they showed this piece also glued to this piece, but there was a break where it looked like it came down and then this ended up jogging in and down. So what I'm probably going to do, because I've got two options, I can either glue this in on the front two thirds and then cut this off so I can come in and I can cut this first but you're gonna have no clearance so what I think I'm gonna do I've got to figure out how much clearance I need on that I, I, I'm not gonna need 330 seconds clearance I could probably get by with 16th of an inch clearance because I can I can do some sanding now what I may do because I told you about this a couple times Let's show it again. Always <laughs> make one of these things when you build a wing. Um, because it's a candy bar wing, once again, they're all the same. The ribs are all the same. So I just I just trace out before I start building. So what I may do is I may come in and just out of 16th, just cut two more ribs. And then just glue that on the tail end of this. So it's going to have to be oversized and sanded. That's not a big deal. Um, but I may just go ahead and do that. So that then I'll be putting the wing tip one sixteenth of an inch off, so there will be a space there. Um, that's probably going to be my best bet. Um, I'm going to think about that a little bit more. I'm probably not going to do it tonight, uh, but I'll probably it's, it's going to be done tomorrow, uh, regardless. But I think uh, I think I'll sleep on it just so that um, I can I can just crunch crunch the idea through and see 
if that's going to do what I want it to do. So anyway, all right, back to the wing. You probably saw the wires hanging out of it. Oh yeah, it's got the gear up in it right now. All right, remember I said I was going to come in and put shear web in. So I put one, two, three pieces of shear web in. And then right down inside there, you can see the wheel. The wheel tucked up real nice right up underneath there. So that came out very, very nicely. Um, so it's just barely, the gear is just barely sticking up above the top. If I want to, I think I can, I think I can change that. I think I may be able to drop that down, but that's, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty darn good. Actually, I'm happy with that. So, um, and just to show you, let's go ahead and back this up so you can get a view of it. Here's it going in and out. So it's going to tuck up inside nicely. So, um, yeah, I'm really happy with the, uh, with the retracts. So, and as you can see, I've got these where the wheels were supposed to be all the way back here. So they would have been centered, I'm trying to think, probably right about here on the wing. Um, you're about three, three to four inches farther forward. So uh, in theory, everything should be fine. This is the way it's kind of set up on the, uh, kind of, sort of, the way it's set up on the, the AT6. Uh, I mean, the AT6 is a little bit farther forward just the way it works, but um, I don't think I'm going to have a problem with this. I think we should be fine. It'd be nice if I could have... The, the wheel, the, the front part of the wheel, even up here. Now what I said I could still do, I can come in and leave this part down level and shim this up with a couple washers so it's rotated this way. When it rotates out, it's gonna throw it a little farther up front. So I may, I may just do a test just to see uh, how much more it pushes it out. Cause it's still gonna end up back inside the same bucket. It's just as it goes out of the bucket, it's gonna pull a little farther forward. So. I think it's going to be fine the way it is. Um, I've got to come in. I've got to resheet this part, I think, up to about here. And then that's where the rest of this is the aileron. So um, I'm going to put the uh, uh, the surface spar. I think that's what they call it, or a cover spar. Uh, so it's going to be a little spar, thin wall spar, that's going to come right along the bottom here. And it'll terminate, even though it'll go all the way across, I'll stop gluing it. To this part of the sheeting right here and only glue it to the uh, to the rib so that way when I cut this it's not going to be stuck to it so and my bad it's actually on the top it's not on the bottom so so when I cut this all out everything will be fine so anyway let me uh, let me let me just uh, let's call it a day here um, I will um, be back down here early in the morning again and Let's, uh, let's see if we can finish that wing and consider it done. So then uh, we can get back on the fuselage. And uh, that's going to be a fun part. The fun part of the fuselage is going to be up front where that battery's got to slide in. That's, the rest of it is, is pretty much a cakewalk. I'm not going to have a problem with that at all. It's just going to be the nose. So anyway, all right, let's shut this all down. I'll turn off the lights, go upstairs, and then I'll see you guys first thing in the morning.